Phoenix, Arizona. Here we come, baby. Let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome to another home golf video. This is Brent. Uh, this video, we're going to be doing an insight to kind of uh, what we do at a Division One college golf tournament. So we're flying to Phoenix, Arizona this afternoon. It is currently Friday, February 23rd, headed to the first event of the season. Um, about to go meet the team at the bus, and we're going to go stop at Gateway National. Just outside is the beautiful East St. Louis. Get some practice in. Then we'll head to the airport and go straight to Phoenix from St. Louis. I think we arrive at around 5-ish. And then practice round tomorrow, Saturday. And then we'll play Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So I'm trying to get some cool videos and stuff. Uh, get some insight on what it's, what it's kind of like traveling like this. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. What up, checkpoints but uh, now we're headed to the gate so Let's see cherry limeade gets a 10 out of 10 no doubt it's fire shout out rain what up y'all yeah we're back i don't know they got me for something are stuck just sitting here it's top scene bro tough look out here guys this is this is rough all good finally get out of here all right we made it have secured that van already let's go you clicking on that ac up there buddy All right, officially made it. This took about an hour to get, so better taste good. Ain't that right? Yeah. Well, officially made it to the hotel. Long ass day, bro. Long ass day, boys. Just gonna get some sleep and practice around tomorrow, so I'm gonna see y'all there. All right, got to sleep in last night, so um, looks amazing out here. We got a practice round at 11.20, I believe. So, today, I'm gonna get some videos of the practice round, and uh, I guess I'll see y'all at the range. Seventeen? Yeah, this is ten right here. We are walking to the seventeenth practice round. We're gonna be playing in the sixth, so it's gonna be a long ass day. Six hours, he said. Might see some scorpions. Let's see how we do. We got my old teammate from the Dodge City Community College, Nico Legend. Hey, what's up? 
Look at that cactus though. Oh my. It is hot out here. Super dehydrated guys, so I'm gonna try to guzz as many of these water bottles as possible. Hopefully we can get about eight or nine. Then we'll be good. Let's go. Wonder is. Yeah, yes, sir. Seen the course record in the practice round. Good shot, sir. All right, guys, it is currently 6.21 p.m. Uh, walking on the last hole of the practice round here. This is beautiful. It's been a pretty successful practice round, though. Just a long one. These days are long, but I'll catch y'all on the bus. Breakfast last week, so this year we're at 6 over the 5.30. Oh, oh, that's big. He dropped the cake. God dang it. <laughs> Finally. Made it back. Oh, hell. Let's go, guys. What? The room service came, apparently. What the is this shit? That's not even made. That's not even made. <laughs> no, it ain't. All right, check if anything's stolen. Yeah, bro. I thought I'd put the sign out. <laughs> All right, yeah, but that was a long ass practice round. Um, hit it good for the most part, but off at 7.45 tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to wake up at like 5.30. So hopefully we can have a good day tomorrow. And we'll see you guys then. guys early morning today but feel good um got to go get some breakfast downstairs in the hotel and we'll see y'all at the range this will serve as a 10 minute call for all players a 10 minute call for all players and if the coach from Seton Hall is here, we have your scorecards and pin sheets in the golf shop. Seton Hall, scorecards, pin sheets in the golf shop. What's up, everybody? Made it back to the hotel. Um, 70 today. 500 with two to play, that's disappointing, but at 13 greens, I believe. Yeah, 500 through, 500 with two to play. Um, hit it in the bunker on my 17th hole. Not much sand in it, didn't get up and down. And then the last hole, uh, pin was placed in a spot where it probably shouldn't have been, about six paces off what it was actually supposed to be. And it was just on this incline. So I made double there. I mean, I think the average score on that hole was like four and a half, guys, so just, um, not a deal. Unbelievable. But we're about to go eat. I think we're going to Red Robin. We're about to go eat, so um, I guess I'll just chill for the rest of the night, get some homework done maybe, and then I'll catch y'all um, in the AM. I'm dead. All right, walking down to get some breakfast. Um, well, let's have a day today. All right, safe to say, when you hit it as bad as I did today, you're not gonna shoot any better than 73. We got nine fairways 11 for 18 greens which is not acceptable but four or five up and downs chipping was good 
saved ourselves from shooting like 85 today. So let's go out and have a decent one tomorrow. Just hit it, just hit it good tomorrow. What's up guys, it's George here from Hung Golf. Uh, so I had a 75 and followed it with a 76. Pretty good, pretty good rounds. Stuff. Looking to take that momentum in tomorrow and break 74. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, hold a lot of putts for those scores as well. Just bullshit, wasn't quite there. Breaking 80 is a plus. Well, yeah, I had to work for it on the first day. Um, good. Second day, kind of game felt really good. And good cruise below the 80 mark, so handicap should come down. And um, I think I, my handicap should be cut to maybe a 3.8. Yeah. All right, hit some balls on the range after and uh, decided I'm going to work on my tempo tomorrow. It seemed to be doing the trick, so uh, we're just going to work on tempo in tomorrow's round. And See how it treats us. Should treat us good. Alrighty guys, third and final day out here. Um, about to head to the course. We got the final round and then got to get all these bags. Golf travel bag, that bag, backpack, golf bag. Got to get this all packed up real quick because we are leaving at seven o'clock from the airport. So right after the round, we're going to catch a flight and get back to Illinois. But You know what guys, all in all, I mean solid besides um, my last couple holes in rounds one and three. I think we finished tied 50, so that's about middle of the field. I think there were about 110 players. So I mean, first turn of the season, got to clean up some stuff, but we'll be back. Um, stay tuned for Luke's tournament vlog at Auburn in the next two weeks, and I'm gonna be going to Bandon this week, so I'll try to get some good footage from that. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys like this content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and um, here's the end of it.